Alright guys, welcome back to the DPS. So today we are here with a quick and easy undervolting tutorial to reduce the temperature, reduce the power consumption and increase the FPS. Now this tutorial is gonna work on both RTX 3060, the 12 gigabyte model and also the new 8 gigabyte model, but it's gonna be the same exact settings also if you have an RTX 3060 Ti plus the newest one with GDDR6 as memory. So let's get straight into it. I will be using this build that you will also find on the channel in case you want to see what kind of build it is it's a mini itx one so let's get straight into it okay so let's get to work now to make this work you will need two softwares heaven benchmark which is this one and also ms afterburner you will find both of them down there in the description so you will just start heaven benchmark possibly removing the full screen mode so you can actually click on the screen while we're working and then you will open up MSI Afterburner. Now at this point, your volt settings might be zero, like in this case, so you wanna go into the settings and then enable voltage control and voltage monitoring. Hit apply, hit yes, it will reboot Afterburner and now you can read the actual voltage that the card is running at at this exact time. Now, after you've done this, first step, you wanna unlock the power limit fully and also temperature limit and hit apply. Now we will bring this one a bit to the side and hit the curve editor. This will pull up the actual curve. Now here on the curve, we wanna basically flatten this line, okay? So that we will not have drop of frequency in games anymore. So to do this, the first thing we do is we go on the core clock megahertz and we hit minus 250 and hit enter. But do not hit apply, just hit enter. Now, you wanna go over here and grab the 900 millivolt voltage point right here and bring it up all the way until you are at 1900 now it doesn't have to be exactly 1900 it can be a bit lower or a bit higher it can be 880 it can be 920 now hit apply right there now as you can see our curve changed and it's now flattened and if you see our frequency it's 1920 now yours might be 1908 1911 it doesn't matter what matters is that it's around 1900 megahertz which is basically the stock frequency but the difference is we are running with 1.5 in this case volt less so the change in power consumption and temperature is dramatic so you might be wondering where is the increase in performance coming from well it's because during extended periods of time the frequency actually drops so most cars usually run at around 1800 megahertz but here we are effectively overclocking it by 20 percent so that's pretty good well 10 percent actually with these settings but you can bring it up all the way to 20 percent so first of all let me finish up the tutorial and then i will give you a couple of finishing tips now by doing this you have effectively already undervolted your card but now depending on your use case there are a couple extra things that you can do so you see the memory clock now if you have an rtx 3060 8 gigabyte or 12 gigabyte or everything except for the RTX 3060 Ti plus you can increase this one to 800 so you can hit 800 and hit apply this is gonna work perfectly fine and it's gonna give you a nice boost in FPS so I really do recommend you do it but if you do have a 3060 Ti plus since it has GDDR6X uh, if you do this your temperature will actually increase dramatically so depending on the card it might not be good for your temperature so I do not recommend doing this also if you are playing at lower resolutions like 1080p uh, you don't need to do this because the change would be minimal so you can leave it at zero. Now, in case you're still here and you wanna extract a bit more performance or make this undervolt a bit more customized and done for use especially, here is how you go about it. Now, the higher the clock, which is on here, the higher this point you choose, the more performance you get. But the lower this one is, so if instead of 900 we put 850, the lower the temperature and the power consumption will be. Now, you can experiment a bit. So, some cards might be able to run at 1900 megahertz with just 875 millivolt. So you can try that one. If you're really unlucky and you do this and your PC crashes, you might need to set it to 925 to make it work properly. So you might also wanna do that. But if you have a very good and lucky card, actually, you might be able to use a settings that looks like this. So. We unlock everything, we hit minus 250. And now we grab the 950 millivolt voltage point and we bring it up all the way to 2000, okay? Right there. And hit apply. 
Now on my card, this is working. This will give you more performance. This is gonna be a bit more than 10% overclock. You might wanna try this out, depending if you want more performance or if you want more efficiency, less temperature, less noise, it's up to you. But this is how you do it, and those are a couple of presets you can use. If this video was helpful, please drop a sub. It really helps me. I'm trying to grow it as a YouTuber to show more tips like this. And I have a lot of tutorials about CPUs as well. I am trying to slowly cover every GPU in existence and every CPU in existence so that you, no matter what your PC is, you can just copy my settings and basically have a PC that runs better. So if you could drop a like and a sub, it would be much appreciated. Plus, I do videos about builds, budget builds, like the one we are working on today, and how to get them for cheap and get a good gaming PC running. So you might like the channel. But anyway, if you've seen it this far, I really appreciate it. See you in the next one, guys, and take care.